This family has survived a harrowing five years as hostages of the Taliban in Afghanistan. These children were born in captivity and tonight are free for the very first time after being rescued along with their American mother and Canadian father after a deadly firefight. We are therefore to ask Canada and the United States to change the policies of the Afghan government. For the last five years, this is just about all the world has seen of Canadian Joshua Boyle, his American wife, Caitlin Coleman, and their children. Desperate pleas for someone to do something to free them as their toddlers fidget in the foreground. I can only ask that you will please quickly try to resolve this for our sake and the sake of our children. It was almost exactly five years ago, October 2012, that Boyle and his pregnant wife, Caitlin, were on a Central Asian adventure when they were kidnapped in Afghanistan. Their first son was born some months later. Boyle wrote a letter to his parents, shared with the Toronto Star, about the secret flashlight delivery of his second son a number of years later. A daughter was born this summer. It was only three months ago that Boyle's parents posted a plea for the family's life on YouTube, a desperate message to the captors. We are Patrick and Linda Boyle, and we're reaching out at this time as Ramadan ends out of concern for our oldest son, Joshua Boyle, his wife Caitlin, and their young children. Joshua's parents, who live in Smith's Falls, posted a very different video this morning. And we were told the wonderful news that our family had been rescued, and then uh, 20 minutes later we were allowed to actually talk with Josh. That's the first time in five years. The Toronto Star's national security reporter, Michelle Shepard, has been covering this story extensively. And Boyle's family told her that he was in the trunk of the kidnapper's car with his wife and children when Pakistani forces overnight rescued them. He said his kidnappers were killed in a shootout that left him with minor shrapnel wounds. The last words Boyle said he heard from the kidnappers were, kill the hostages. Earlier today, Boyle reportedly refused to get on a U.S. military plane headed for the States over fears he would be arrested because in a strange twist, he was once married to Omar Cotter's older sister. Cotter spent a decade in Guantanamo Bay over allegations that he was involved in a firefight that killed a U.S. soldier in Afghanistan. Investigators have ruled that Boyle's hostage-taking was a terrible coincidence. The couple has told the U.S. military they want to fly commercially to Canada. The family is said to be in relatively good physical condition, but clearly it will take some time to determine the psychological impact of spending the last five years in captivity. I'm Avery Haynes, City News.